Yes, you want to calculate the moisture content of drained grain after you have dried. Now, I will use my equation to solve the problem. And the more so, it's just to get a formula. This is the formula of getting the moisture content after you have dried. Moisture content of a dried is equals to 100 minus the first weight in the brackets, in the brackets, 100% minus first moisture content over second weight. Now, we can see this is my first, this is, I will treat it as first weight. This is my M1, this is my, uh, this is my W2. That is W2 weight, second weight after I've dried. And now when it comes to, I will just put place it in my formula. This is second, 100 minus first, eh? that is 200 over, that is in bracket, 100 minus first moisture content over second weight. Now, when it comes to that, I'll just solve this in brackets. 200 times this, 100 is equals to 20,000. 200 times 30, 6,000 over 150. This is independent. Now, 100 minus, you calculate now, you might, you might minus this, you'll get 40,000 divided by 150. Divided by 150, you will get 93.37. This is independent, this is independent. This is independent, yes. Now, 100 minus 93.37, you will get, you will get 6.7, and it is moisture content, and it is measured in percent. So, it means, uh, the moisture content after you have dried, it is 6.7. And that's how simple it is whenever you are asked on how to calculate the moisture content after a grain has been dried. So, get it clear? This is how it should be done. So, kindly make sure you have subscribed. If you are the first, first you are the first time to see my video, make sure you have watched my previous one and you have learned something. I'm Kasango, Junior, the agronomist, uh, solving agricultural problems and finance. So you can get me and you can access me and I'm here to guide all farmers to gain and to get the skills and to make more profit. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you have subscribed.